Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to the video. I did not mean to have Alvin in the background during this video, but anyway, hi, yes, I'm back, and I, I, I guess I am, um, what the high level, the quote unquote high level PvP community sees me as, but it's fine. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to be showcasing a new move that Seer Knight actually got. It actually just got Mega Punch with the Halloween update. Now, this is a set that I'm going to be running. Now, I, I you could probably use Raburn, like robust, um, robust, clever, very, um, very clumsy with terrifying, and then just go like a fl raging flame, slap down, and flame kick and such. But I'm going to use the a four attacking variant. I'm going to be using healthy ammo because I don't have dodge, so I just have to have some longevity. And now, here are the TPs. Now, with these TPs, with um, 184 health and 132 range defense, you can live a smart power cuffs um, plus one attack from Protagon at max HP. Anywhere else, you will get KO'd if you're below um, 20%. If you're below 80%, you will get KO'd every time. Um, and 184 combined with 120, you can swap into Hunter uh, four times and get it to minus one. Um, you can swap into it uh, two times, and it has a 98... A 99.8% chance of three at KO, so you're probably going to get three at KO'd. <laughs> Let's all be honest. And then the 24 energy, so we get to 250. Um, and the 40 rate melee attack was just some leftovers that I had. I didn't know what else to put it in. And yeah, I think this is be a pretty fun set. We can actually now hit bugs now. And being able to hit bugs is pretty big. It's actually probably the best counter to the really scary Nevermare right now. Um, very, very robust with phantoms. Like, very robust with this thing. It's the perfect counter to this thing. Um... As it's able to hit it back with a uh, flaming kick, and it also counters Terra Claw very, very well. And with cl very clever, it can counter Deladrix decently, I would say. Um, but if you're if you're struggling with taking down Nevermare, I would use um, Swolder or Seer Knight because those are its best counters. Anyway, I'm pretty excited. Hopefully, you're excited. Let's hop into the first battle. All right, here we go into the first battle. Now, I can't actually say good luck, have fun, but I'll put it up there just so you guys know I did. Anyway, all right, this team looks pretty good. We're actually able to test out um, Seer Knight's counter against a Nevermare, which would be pretty nice. I also see my own Nevermare being ridiculously good here as we're able to hit pretty much his entire team really hard. We kill Zulong with Venal and we win with Nevermare, so we're going to be aiming for that. Um, Mocha, I'm not really worried about because we can literally just break Wobblisk and we can counter it. Um, and... For the last slot, I'm thinking I just go um, Theo just for some slap down early game support. Um, now, what to do against the Earth Snack? We gotta swap you in. So yeah, we're gonna be doing we're gonna be using decent work now with Mega Punch. We're able to be a really good counter to bug types. Like only bug that's gonna be able to kill us is Garbanus and um, Deladrix. Even then, Deladrix is really bad. <laughs> and Spreezy can barely hit us as we I think quad resist plant. No, we don't quad resist it. I feel like I'd want to bring Nimmery though, to just to deal with the uh, snack a little bit better. I might just do that as a lead. I'm just gonna do that as a lead. The wall clock can barely hit us, so I'm not really worried about it. He led Zulong, okay. Not sure what he clicks, but I'm just gonna go right into my Veno and then barter. If he um clicks what? I'm not sure what he will click here. Probably just oh he clicked T Star. I actually could have gone into my um. Nevermare, which technically if you run optimal investment, you can, um, you can actually, uh, op if you run optimal investment, you can live an E-burst from a Thunderstrike along with a, um, Thunderstrike from Zulong, which would be interesting. I'll just burn away my shackles. And Crop just lost its drop of youth. Beautiful. That is really good that it dro lost drop of youth it can't do very much to me so i don't really know what it's planning here is this gonna start setting up bulk up what can it click here steel crusher against veno but it's defensive so like much better in this range is gonna three at ko so i'll click it twice or three times four at ko actually all right no problem then it's primal slash okay that shouldn't do too much even with a crit that didn't do very much now i'm, I'm gonna rejuvenate and then swap into seer knight and then I click mega punch so I'm rejuvenate You can sharpen. All right, beautiful. Now I can go into Seer Knight. 
which I can click Mega Punch on this thing. I don't know why you're not Bulk Up. Bulk Up is better. Sharpen's better if you're running Kiro and Copper Rage. Right, perfect. We get our Terrifying. Click Primal Slash again. We're going to be able to tank it. Oh, so well. Oh, so well. All right, perfect. Now we can click one of our moves. I'm not going to click Slap Down because that's kind of a... I was, that'd be an obvious move. I'm going to click Mega Punch just, 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 just because I can hit this thing really hard with it. Now, it probably just clicks Driving, though, which would swap us out, but we don't take much damage from it at all. So we can swap into this thing every time. We can basically swap into any melee attacker every time. And we have a good flinch chance, which is pretty nice. I feel like I use defensive Lumines so much more than offensive Lumines in showcases. If I get the flinch here, we kill this cop Raj. Crit flinch, easy peasy. Crit flinch, easy peasy. He clicks Bane. All right, so he's a Bane of Haste set. Oh, he's Waka Laka Bane of Haste. That's his team, is Waka Laka Bane of Haste. Oh, I see. Waka Laka Bane. Okay, I see, I see. That's his team. Waka Laka Bane. I'll stall it out then. I'm going to stall out his Bane of Haste. Yeah, buddy, I'm not going to kill you if you're going to have your Bane of Haste up. I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep resting. Like, I'm going to keep waiting. I'm going to stall your Bane. Yeah, now he either uh, flails here. Yeah, he flails. Yeah. He flails because he knows I'm stalling it. So now that's three turns of Bane of Haste already up. Um, I think with this set, you can actually live a Zulong Thunderstrike. I'm going to go check. Zulong. I'm just going to go smart because people keep telling me very smart Zul. Everyone uses very smart Zulong. I have yet to see one. What are you swapping? I'll check in a second. Zulong. E. No, not. Uh, Thunderstrike. Yeah, you do live. You do live. What are you swapping? Ursnack? We both click slap down here. So I can actually go into Veno to, and survive the slap, but honestly, I might just click slap down just to get rid of its item. Like, I'm just going to click it. I might lose my amulet, but like, it should be fine. Yeah, I still tank a lot of hits. I probably, I could have realistically gone into Venolin, which would have been a little bit better on my part. Now, if this thing is health amulet, it's gone. Or it's gone now. Yeah, it's amulet. Uh, every, your snack's always amulet. It's never not been. So now he just clicks baffle here. So I'm going to click slap down again on his baffle. Clicks rough up. I would have assumed baffle. All right, he's, he's the bane of face is over now. Um, I'm now going to go into Venolin because he doesn't really have any swaps into this thing now that his uh, cop Raj is dead. Earth Snack's okay against it, but we can hit it neutrally with our adaptive. He clicks slap down again. Beautiful. We get rid of our drop of youth. And now we just click um, wait. Walk like a Psycho Blast is a little scary, but honestly, if we can get our um, Nevermare on the field, we can actually kill this Ursnack. And we just swap a uh, Venolin in on it every time. We, we actually grab a KO with... Uh, goes into... What is he going to? Mocho. That's a little scary, because now he actually just clicks Peace of Mind, unless we can barter away his uh, his thingy, which I don't think we can. So I'm just going to go to Wobbless and driving it. Because if he sets a Peace of Mind here, that'd be very, very nice. Unless he just clicks Boom Bash twice, which would be unfortunate. But I'll go into my Wobblisk. And if he clicks Peace of Mind, that'd be absolutely beautiful for me. Clicks Traps. Okay, so he's not Chocolate Bar. Alright, I'm going to click Driving Force to swap this thing out. Surprise, it's not Chocolate Bar. You'd think it'd be Chocolate Bar. <laughs> I'm very surprised that's not Chocolate Bar. I'm going to be honest. So, Ursnack, what is it? Zulong actually swaps it. Alright, that's actually pretty good for me, because I live the burst from this range, and I don't really need Wobblisk this game. The most chip I can get on the Zulong, the better. So, I'm actually just going to click my Frostbeam. He, he Ancient Roars. Yeah, he, he knows he can't take chip on Zulong. He knows. Primal Slash is so far really free here with Nevermare. So, if we get Nevermare on the field safely, we're good. And actually, we could actually, um... We're going to go Ventilate on his Ursnack here. Um, or he goes Nevermare. Ooh, perfect chip! Ooh! Because the minus one range attack does not matter for me. Because I'm ignorant. So I ignore my stat boot, my stat drops. So it's going to deal half health anyway. Yeah. Now, I, he's not healthy, so that's good. All right, perfect. Yeah. I click Frost Beam again. And his slashes won't kill me. Even with a crit, we tank it. I do some calcs with this thing. Wobbles is good counter to Nevermare as well, but not the best. Swolder and Sunai is still pretty good. Now, goes, now he goes an Ursnack. Now, if I get the freeze on this thing, that'd be really, really clutch. Now, I'm actually getting a lot of my health. He's letting me get a lot of my health back with Wobblisk, which is really, really nice. 
So, alright, I don't get the freeze. So, he just clicks baffle here, actually. So, what we can do here is go into, um... Hmm... This is an interesting situation, actually, because if he clicks Baffle, and we don't get the right prediction here, it'd be pretty much over. But I think if he clicks Baffle here, we get our, our free Frost Beam, that are driving. But he has two Spirits, which are good swaps. So I think our, our Amulet's already gone, and Seer Knight counters the th other thing really well. So I'm going to swap into Seer Knight and get rid of a little more of the traps, so Nimray can later come in the field a little safer. So if he clicks Baffle here, that'd be great for me. Yeah, he does. If I had clicked Frost Beam twice there, he would have been forced to go Mocho, which would have been really bad for him. Because then I could have just gone into something. Alright, he goes into his Mocho. Don't really know why he did that. I am, um, range. I live his, I live his attack, which I'm range defensive. Now, I think Flaming Kick and, um, Searing Shield are the same strength. Yeah, they are. And Searing Steel is more accurate, so I'm going to click that. Boom Bash doesn't kill me because I'm clever. Yep. I am dazed, which is pretty unfortunate there. He needed that. Yep, that he needed that. He needed that hit. Actually, this is actually decent for me because now I can... Uh, t -t 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 pretty unfortunate that I just got hit by that. That is not enough for another attack. I don't think that's enough for another attack. It looks like like 40, 45 something energy. Alright, well I can swap in Nevermare here and... I can click my slash moves. I primal slash is completely free versus this guy's team. But to be safe, I'm gonna go Nima and click um Gust to get rid of these traps. Just so I don't take too much chip. I'm gonna click Gust. Now if he goes into his Nevermare, this would be nice for me because I get a free piece. Alright, so I'm gonna get rid of these traps. Alright, now I can tank the Motra's attacks with Venno, but he just clicks Frost Beam here, um, which is good for Wobblisk, but I don't really want to swap. I don't think Nimari is very needed this game. I'm just going to click Gamma. There's no, there's no real need for Nimari this game, so I can just click Gamma Pulse. He just clicks Frost Beam. I can actually perch on his next Frost Beam, um, which I don't live it at all, but he might just go into... There's, actually, it's completely fine if I click Gust here. Um, because everything on his team, besides Urshnack, outspeeds me, and if I lose this thing, it's still fine. I just have to get Nevermare on the field safely. So, I can just click, uh, Gust, just in case he swaps. Yeah, he did swap into what? He probably just goes into Nevermare, yeah. Not very hard prediction there. I get a little bit of chip on the Nevermare, which is nice. Now I'm gonna click it again. There's no, no real need for me to keep this Nevermare on the field. No real need. He clicks Thistle. Perfect. All right, now I can go into my Wobblisk, which, and I can, no, he actually just goes into, he's not going to sack Nevermare yet, I don't think. Um, I don't think he sacked Nevermare yet. Okay, that's his only good thing to counter Venno, if not, uh, he can't sacrifice this thing yet because of Venno, because if I, so if I kill this thing, I win. Um... I can actually, if anyone can beat the Urshnack in a 1v1, so I'm just going to click Frost Beam, because he, he, oh, he does sack it. Even a crit doesn't kill me here. A crit doesn't kill me here, yeah. He doesn't, he sack, all right, well, he loses to Venola now. I wall him out. So Knight did pretty good. I wasn't able to swap it against a Nevermare, though. He didn't play Nevermare very well, not going to lie. Well, if now if I get Nevermare on the field safely, I literally, so if he goes into his um Urshnack here, it'd be absolutely amazing for me, because... Yeah, I want him to go into Urshnack here. I really, really do. If he goes into Zulong, he's just going to click Ancient Roar, and then I go into Urshnack. If he goes into Mocho, actually. Okay. A little unfortunate, because now he just clicks Boom Bash. Um, which, I can actually go into Nevermare for his Boom Bash. If it's Frost Beam, that'd be unfortunate. But then I just took way too much chip on Nevermare, which I don't need right now. He did click Frost Beam. Oh my god, that did way more damage than I thought. I actually... Oh! That's huge, actually. Now that the Mocho tanked that. This is a Mocho designed to tank Nevermare, I think.
It actually tanked a Frost Beam from Mocho naturally. I really... I probably should have just gone to Ventolin and played it safe. I had a feeling he was going to go for his Frost Beam just to predict. Now, I actually, I should just quick Primal Slash there. Because now he might just be able to go Zulong for free in the Quick Ancient Roar. Yeah, he just goes Zulong Quick Ancient Roar. Oh, he sacks Ursanak. Beautiful. Now I win with Ventolin. That's quad effective. All right. I don't even think... His Shadow Sprint probably KOs Nevermare here. I don't really need Nevermare anymore. So, I can just click my Phantom. Or, not Phantom. Primal. Yeah. He, I think it, I, don't, I think he knew, knows he does not need Ursnack. I really thought that was going to KO. I really thought that was going to KO. Well, this is actually really good for me. Because now I get to go into Venolin and, and Rejuve. Or Rest and then Rejuve. Which is an option. Actually, I might just Rest and then Rejuvenate. Or Rejuvenate and then Rest. But I don't want to take unnecessary damage. But I think I'll just rejuvenate. I just want to play it safe against the Zulong. Oh, he flailed. Perfect. <laughs> Mocho can't do anything to me. Zulong can't do anything to me. We wall him out. Because his... Um, what? Copperage is dead. Ursnax dead. Um, Nevermare's dead. He only has Mocho and Zulong, which is walled by Venolin. So yeah, it's a GG. He can't do anything to me. He, yeah, he needs to chip on Venolin to win. And... I don't want to forfeit, no. Yeah, he needs chip on Ventolin to win. And if I get enough uh, speed drops, I win. Boom Bash is going for the days. He's going for the days. He didn't get it. Perfect, I win. Beautiful. Defensive Mocha. I haven't seen that. Looks like it was definitely designed to take a Metaphemir, though. Yeah, I get enough of these Mud Spatters and I win. Or I could just play it safe in the Rejuve, but I don't want to. He e bursts. He only has enough for two. I have enough for three Mud mm, Two Mud Spatters, actually. All right, and they do about half, yeah. So there's no way we lose this. There's no possible way that we lose this because he only has one E-burst left. So I can actually wait for free and then rejuvenate. Because unless he crits me here, he still can't win. Ah ha ha! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Yeah, that's GG after that. I, can just, I didn't think he was just going to dodge there. Now, unless he crits me, he can't win. G G G G. Well, that was a pretty fun battle. Like that one went pretty well in my favor, except for the prediction on the mo. My God, look at all the noobs! All right, here we go into the next battle. Roblox, I think, is lagging. Maybe because a dot me updated or something. Let me know if you guys know why. Oh my God, Nevermare is so good in this fight. Look at this. It hits, 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 and hits. Hit. It hits all these things. It hits everything super. It hits everything effectively, except against Krakola and Bazolin, which, if it gets a crit on either of those, it's gonna two at KO or one at KO five two bulk ups up. Nice. So I'm definitely gonna bring Nevermare here. I do see Sunite doing pretty decent here. It probably only against the Bazolin, so I'll only bring it for the Bazolin. I, I can tank the Bazolin really well with this thing. Plus I can Mega Punch it. Um. Uh. I also see Nimray doing really good here, as the only immunity is Nevermare. So, I'll bring this. Nimray and Seer Knight are decent together. Um, and I'll bring you, just so I don't die to Cephalops. And I think I will lead with Protagon. Because if I get the attack buff on the Himber and I can KO it, we're good. And if that doesn't happen, then I can just go to Nevermare after I die. And then... He actually goes Cepha as the lead. Alright, perfect. So, he leads Cepha. If I get the plus one in ranged attack, I will click I will click T-Strike. Why am I Protagon not Alvin? What is this? Um, okay, so he just clicks Soul Drain here, so I have to go Venno, um, and then probably, I'm just gonna barter immediately, just get rid of its, uh, Dark Essence, or I swap, or he swaps into something, and it ruins his item. Apparently, Roblox servers are down right now. Did not know that. Alright, so now he, he probably just goes Seer Knight, no, not Seer Knight, probably just goes Himber. And I don't want him to get um, competi a competitive edge with um, Himber. Since I have Shackles, does that mean I'm slower so I have switching priority? Or not? That's a good question. And I don't want Himber to get the edge on me. Um, so I might just go Protagon and then... I'm just going to play safe and go Protagon. I think... I don't think Heavy Shackles matters in that instance. I don't think it matters in that instance. Yeah, he just goes into Himber. So... 
Heavy Shackles does not actually matter there. So, now that he has melee attack, he's probably expecting me to swap, but I, I don't, I only bring Alvin just for this Himber, so I'm just gonna click Dark Burst. Get some chip. Ooh! Ooh, three? Oh, if I had range attack, it was dead. Ooh, if I had range attack, it was dead. All right, perfect. That's low enough in the range of my Thistle, so I will go into that. That I go into Seer Knight and then click my attack, but... I don't even think a 1, a 40 attack Seer Knight can be able to kill this thing. Even then, I might be able to take the Earthquake. Uh, dude, should I? Or let's go Nevermare and sweep, because if I go Nevermare, and I, I, I can sweep easily. I'm just gonna go Nevermare and play it easy and sweep. So yeah, I go Nevermare and click Thistle, and if he goes into Cepha, then... I, or I can just click Bulk Up on his Ice Hammer, which is gonna deal a lot of damage, but his Quick Punch has no priority on me. And if I get my plus one in Thistle, I can win. I'm gonna click Bulk Up. And he swapped. Perfect. It's probably Raging Flame Crocola, so it's a 50-50 whether I live, whether it's um, gonna burn me. So I'm gonna really hope it doesn't burn me here. I'm gonna click my, my phantom. And if I get the crit, that'd be even better. I did get the crit, perfect. So I do two at KO it. It is not Raging Flame. So hopefully I don't get burned by the by the Magma Burst. He actually, that did a lot. Oh, it's Volcanic. Is that Volcanic? That seems Volcanic. Is that Volcanic? That was Volcanic. That was 100% Volcanic. Now, he probably just goes Bazil in here. And I might be able to click Bulk Up again, but... No, it wasn't? SA? What? It did a lot of damage. I'm probably just overreacting, but, like... I have naturally high ranged defense. I don't know. It did it did 100, so it kind of makes sense. But, like, normally I don't think it would do that much damage. Alright. Oh, he's a Sprint here. That was a good play. That was a good play by him. Good play by him. I gotta go into um, him right now. That was a good play on his part. Yeah, but now I just click Gamma for free. Since his Krakow is dead. Yeah, he swaps. What is he, did, he, did he have a plant type? Oh, he had a... Uh, oh! I, th I thought he had Nevermare. <laughs> he, did he bring Nevermare? That's Himber dead already. That's nice. So I don't need... Alright, so he probably just goes Nevermare here. And then I'm kind of screwed. Wobblisk. If it's Mud Spatter, then it's going to be very, very difficult to t kill this thing. Because I can't take too many mud spatters. Venelin, he probably just clicks beam, which I quad resist it with you. And then I can kit it really hard with a um searing. So I think that's why I'm gonna do that. Or I just click gamma pulse twice and get some chip. Which do I need this thing? Uh, against the Ursul I do, so I'm gonna keep memory alive for a little bit. And then I'll bait it out later with a swap into into it. So probably what he's gonna do here, um, I'm gonna think is go for his frost beam. That already clicks mud spatter predicting seer knight. Which would be a really, really good prediction by him. No, he just clicks Frost. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm going to click... Of course, I'm going to click my Flaming Kick here. Or, no, I'm going to click Searing Steel. Because it is more reliable. So, I'm going to click my Searing Steel. He actually just swaps into his... Uh, Cephalop. So, I actually just got some big chip. I think I ignore the water um, immunity, right? Or the water resistance? I do. Okay. So, what I can do here is um, click Mega Punch... Just to try to get a flinch chance, or I just click this again. Because I think it just clicks Tsunami, which you do about here. Uh, or here. It really depends. Um, mm, that I just hope I get a flinch and then Searing Steel again. Because Mega Punch and Searing Steel will take this thing down. I'll click Searing Steel again. We haven't seen any bugs today, which I was trying to see and fight in this battle. Or in this video. So he actually, yeah, he just, I had a feeling he would just click Soldering. But I'm clever, so I could take, I can actually wall this thing out pretty well. So, I can actually, I'm going to go for a Mega Punch, just in case he tries to get a flinch, or in case he tries to, um, if I can get a flinch, I kill this thing. No, I don't kill it. Okay, unfortunate, but I do live that Tsunami, which is really good. So, probably what he's going to do here after this is go into Ursul. Um, but I will Searing Steel, take out the Cephalops, which is really nice. But now my only good counter Wobblisk is really, really low, and that's very unfortunate, because I don't have very much for Wobblisk now, so I probably get walled out by it. But I'll have to barter away its um, thing with Venelin then. Yorso comes in. Okay. I don't think he's going to click Sprint here. Or, or Quick Punch. He might overpredict. He does click Slap. I had a feeling he would do that. I had a feeling he would click Slap. Okay. I can go Nim right now. And then uh, click my Gamma. Just scare this thing out. 
He only has your soul in a wobbleist, so I can click Gamma. I actually think I lose to the uh Yursel if I can't if I don't kill this Wobblisk with my Nimray. Ooh! That was a lot of damage. I'm gonna go into Venelin then. He clicks frost. Okay. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do against the uh Yursel. I Ah crud. I have to um be at full health. Oh, perfect. Okay. 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 This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. I, I think I live to slap. I think if it's very brawny, I don't think I live. But I think I live to slap in this range. So if I can get this adaptive assault off, I can KO with gamma. I think I live. I think I live. It's neutral. Yeah, it's uh, perfect. I do live it. Perfect. So that, that's definitely, that's really, that's a lot of what I wanted. I click my adaptive, get some chip. I can, I now, I, yeah, I won. I won. I got the poison. I win. Yeah, I won. I won. I won. I won. Woo, that's pretty scary for a little bit. But yeah, I win with Nim right now. I just click Gamma Pulse now. And it KOs just your soul. And it has no energy. Oh, wait, that's that's enough for a sprint. That's enough for a sprint. I'd love to be able to go into my um Nevermare and win. I'm just gonna go into Nimray. Because he sacks your soul, then he goes into uh, Waba. Which he doesn't actually have enough for a super effective move, but I'll click Gamma Pulse anyway. Cause yeah, he just he sacks this. I realistically could have clicked Peace of Mind there, but I don't. I feel like Wobblisk was. Um, I think it's hasty. No, I, th I don't think it's a good. I don't think it's a good defensive Wobblisk. This doesn't really seem like a defensive Wobblisk at all. That our Gamble did way too much damage to be able to be a defensive Wobblisk. There we go, Frost Beam. That doesn't even take us out, which is surprising. Yeah. So that's a GG versus Wobblisk. G G. De another decent showcasing of the Seer Knight. I do think Mega Punch is good. It would have been it's able to hit a Bugs, which is what I want. Unless I'm lying and he has another Lumion, which I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's just Wobblisk. GG. That was close. Kind of. I had it all under control. Anyway, guys, that's definitely going to be ending off this video. Two battles in 27 minutes. I feel like it was just two battles in 27 minutes. Not too bad. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the very end. Hopefully you did enjoy. I do think Defensive Sea Knight is pretty good right now, especially if you're struggling against... Um, if you are struggling against uh, fighting Nevermare, use Seer Knight. I definitely think it's pretty good. Um, I might just title this video another um, Do You Hate? Use This, you know? I, feel, I think I might just do that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!